M0 FXB PA50. I'm going to update the firmware. Thanks to CS Quaddy Wang for the firmware version that I'm going to use 1.91. And in that zip, you've got the firmware or the bin file for the PA50, PA50 Plus, which is the one I'm doing. And I have got the PA100, but that's for a separate video. So, of course, you need to connect your cables in the right place. Let me just show you on the device. So, there's two screws you'll see at the front and the back at the top. Just lifts off. So, at the back here, I have taken off that connector, but it just pulls off. Look, but you'll just see at the back here, you've got one, two, three, four, five pins. And the pins that I've used, you can see the colours. Green, yellow, orange, then at the end, brown. I've left one pin unused. I didn't need that one. Um, and then if you look at the, the adapter that I'm using, yeah, remember, it's right at the back, right by the fan. Just copy my colours if you like. And you can buy those cables, you know, on Amazon for just a few pounds, GPIO type cables. My actual, The actual adapter you need, this is crucial you get the right one. Um, is just here and it needs to have DTR, RXD, TXD, the 5 volt and then you miss the CTS, you're not even using that on the ground which I know my wire is brown but it should, you know, better to use black. So I'll put a link in for this as well. well you can see there, there's the parts and all that but I'll just put a link in so you can easily get one. It's a TTL adapter, isn't it? But it's got that extra one that's called DTR. So then you just plug that and cable wise, copy my colors. Yeah. So you've got, you can see that I've got, let's get the colors so you can see them. DTR, RXD is green. So DTR is like the orange, RXD is the green. So remember in the background, I'm sort of trying to do it so you can see both. Yeah. And don't worry, you know, don't just take your time, don't rush. Uh, then you've got the TXD is yellow. Um, the one, two, three, the fourth one along, I'm counting these, is five volts, so that's powering it. Uh, and then you've got the CTS is, is ignored, then you've got the ground, and then just, just copy here, you know basically the red wire ignore it okay the red wire completely ignore it if anything i should take it off because it's not connected so just so you don't get confused i will ignore it just make sure i take the right red one off and just here sorry about this but anyway there you are i've taken it off there you go show you that again okay plug that into your usb of your pc good now fast forward if it's a bit boring so that's into my little adapter here that goes to my pc it's just easier that way If I reboot it, you'll see that as it boots, it says version beta 1.6, which worked okay, but I wouldn't say it was perfect. I, mean, I can always put it back on if it does, if this doesn't improve. But my main problem is it's this SWR detection is a bit too sensitive. It's usable, but it's a bit faffy. Once you've connected everything up, then right click on your device manager right click Windows, select device manager, go to your ports and you should be showing and that yes we have powered the device in the normal way, double click and we should be showing on ports and look COM33 click that right click go to properties and just make sure the port is on 115200 see that click OK when you've done that but mine's on that already and then at the software, which is AVR Dudes, and I'm going to put a link in for this because it's version two point. And the reason I use this version is because I, I, other people have, and they've said it always works 2.14. Put a link in. 
and it's just here just download the zip yeah okay download the zip and when the zip opens you get the program so now let's uh select the com port at the very top so i know i'm 33 and 115200 and if we go over here to the right just make sure you've got 80 mega 328 328p and if you click detect you'll actually hear and mine just did you'll hear it clicky 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 and if you get the clicky clicky <laughs> yeah uh, so i do detect again and you'll know that it's communicating now i've put the bin file which is labeled 50 in a file here I just right click, create a new file, right click, new folder, and inside it, I just put the BIM file that I want to use. And just make sure I've got the PA50 Plus, make sure you choose the right one for your model. So I know where the BIM file is. But now we just go here, there's the old file, it's actually telling me that there's one in there. If we click the three dots here, and we're going to find that. So I labeled it there on my desktop, and scroll down, and it's called something bin let me find it in the end just to keep it simple i took it out of the folder so now when we detect it desktop it, it looks for hex files and just find it and there it is there beta no it's the wrong one we don't want the beta that's the one we've already got so let's find the right one all right found it B1.91 PA50. Double click, puts it there, and just check. I've got ticked. I haven't ticked anything, but right there, and I haven't changed anything else. And then we're just going to hit program. Now here it going clicky click. It says writing. And look out for the reboot. Hopefully when it reboots, we're going to see the 1.91 appear. It says thank you. Cool, that was quick on the reboot. Let's do the reboot again. And um, I literally, uh, it went too fast for me. Quickly do the reboot and then we'll actually hook it up to my radio and see if it's working better. So that's what it looks like now. Let's do a reboot. Yes, 1.91. Right, over to the radio. I'll put the lid back on. Okay, so we're all hooked up. We've got my tuner in line because the 705 doesn't have a tuner. FM, and just a very quick test. Power-wise, we're about, about one watt, is it? 16% of five. And if we key, and it's working fine, yeah. No errors unless, obviously, the SWR is too high. And as I edge the power up, you're seeing we're doing 30 watts there. I'll edge the power up. As I go up, oh, yeah, we don't want it more than 50, but to me, that's working fine. Thanks very much. More videos testing. 7-3.